Hi guys and welcome to yet another very really exciting Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial and in this tutorial I will teach you how to create buttons in the user interface. In the last tutorial I taught, I taught you guys that how you can change the short, keyboard shortcuts to your own liking or your own preferences and now uh, but you are not only limited to making shortcuts of your own choice, you can also make buttons of your own choice also or add them to the user interface uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro. Buttons, which buttons am I, am I talking about? Well, these buttons in the program window, program manager and source manager. These buttons at the bottom and these buttons at the bottom of this one. So before I start uh, telling you how to know, start adding buttons or making buttons in your user interface i will show you how to hide them <coughs> excuse me okay uh, to hide these buttons you just click on this wrench icon which is uh, icon for settings and then click on this show transport controls once you clicked it all the buttons are gone and we just add the timeline in here to bring them back go to wrench icon and click on the show transport controls again and the buttons are back again now to add new buttons to this lineup you click on this plus nishan and then these buttons are all shown that can be added up here for example i want to add this uh, safe margins button whenever you uh, put your cursor over a button that you want to add a little note or a little uh, you know text is appears underneath it and that text tells you what this button does okay i want to add this uh, safe margin button here to my layout i can add it to the middle of different buttons or wherever i want i want to actually add it to the bottom here and i also want to add another button which is the override command button and put it side by side with it now if the buttons uh, layout i don't like I want some space between these buttons I drag this thing which is save space between them and click it I want more space I drag another one and even another one so that's this option gives space to the buttons okay if you ever require that okay once that's done click OK and now your buttons are added to the user interface now let me show you what does this button save margin does save margin as you can see or you might already have known um, bring up the lines in the your screen and which which tells you that at which line or which point your footage is safe and at which line it will be not safe in some tvs and monitors which resolution and dimensions are different now uh, okay some of your footage might be cut but if you keep your footage inside the uh, these lines then you are good to go and your footage will be shown on every kind and every type of television search or stuff like that okay so that's how you add uh, guys uh, button in Adobe Premiere Pro to your user interface to enhance your editing experience okay other than this if you uh, decide okay you want uh, oh one more thing if you uh, are working on a layout and which the window or program on to or uh, the source moment is squeezed to a side and there is no room for the buttons then what happens is that uh, then what happens is that uh, this little arrow automatically appears and if you click on it all the buttons that are not showing up in here they are given over here and then you can select them from here okay so I'm gonna go to Windows, Workspace and Reset Serial Layout and it's gonna bring you back into the original Serial Layout which is the standard one that I use. Okay, now if you are yet bored or you are tired and have no use for these buttons anymore, it's also very really easy to cancel them and go to your original setting. To do that, come to this option which says Reset Layout. Once you click it, those buttons are down and then you click OK. And now you are gone back to your default uh, button layout and your program monitor is uh, as a return to the way it was. Although I have not turned off the margins, so uh, it is still showing. 
so guys that's it and this way you can head buttons to the user interface in Adobe Premiere Pro I hope you like this tutorial and learned something useful today and I will see you in the next tutorial bye for now